Hi everybody, we have a fun one today. I, I think it's kind of a, a very good question and just a little bit of a unique one. So somebody posted a question on one of my, or in the comment section of one of my other videos, put a comment on there, uh, which I'll just read to do it full justice. So what could strong Herx reaction to proteolytic enzymes such as um, stratiopeptidase or natokinase in absence of a reaction to aromatic herbs, biofilm busters be indicative of? So, so um, yeah, really good question. Um, and just something that my brain really loves thinking about because when something happens in a case, whether a patient feels better or a patient feels worse, or there's no difference, um, I like to think about why, why is that happening? And we can you know, gain some good insights into asking why and hopefully having some good uh, thoughts or theories or, or facts about why. So uh, as per usual, nothing I'm saying should be construed as medical advice. Um, this is for informational purposes only. And if you need medical advice, please talk to your healthcare provider for that medical advice. Um, so one of the things that I think is important to note, and it's, it can be sometimes really kind of confusing for patients just based on the way that I think some other clinicians sometimes talk about it, is that a Herx reaction, you know, um, also known as a urish herxheimer reaction, also known as a die-off reaction, um, i.e. when um, microbes are being killed off too quickly, that can ultimately lead to an inflammatory reaction in the body and the patient feels worse. Um, it can be really hard to tell if somebody's herxing from something or if they're having a flare-up for some other reason. They could be having flare-up symptoms because they're just literally not tolerating the supplement well or, or the herb well or the, or the medication well, or they might be having a flare-up because it's pushing detoxification pathways too quickly, or they might be having a flare-up because there's a redox imbalance and there's not enough antioxidants to bind or to uh, counterbalance rather the prooxidants or, or maybe vice versa. So we can feel crummy for a lot of different reasons. And so while a person could be having flare-up symptoms that are indeed a Herx reaction from taking these proteolytic enzymes, um, they might be having a flare-up reaction for one of those other reasons or, or some reason I didn't list there um, instead. So in my experience, when a patient feels worse from working with proteolytic enzymes, um, it, it could be because it's breaking down biofilms, although proteolytic enzymes, to my understanding, are fairly weak biofilm disruptors. I've posted about this in other videos before. They break down phase one biofilms, not phase two very well, and, and phase two are the stronger, more tenacious types of biofilms. Um, but rather, when a patient flares from proteolytic enzymes, um, to my understanding, the main reason why that might happen is because, you know, it might be because it's breaking down phase one biofilms. Maybe the patient's very, very sensitive, but it could also be because those medication or those uh, supplements rather can help to reduce um, blood viscosity. So if the blood is too viscous, i.e. too thick, which can happen with um, really any, any of the things that cause comp or contribute to complex chronic illness, heavy metals, um, uh, systemic infections with uh, micro, uh, you know, bacteria, viruses, etc., mold toxins. Um, these things can cause increased blood viscosity, and then the blood just becomes a little more sludgy. And when the blood's a little more sludgy, nutrients and oxygen can't get to the tissues as easily, waste products can't get flushed away from the cells as easily, medications, supplements, things like that can't get to the tissues as easily, to, to the cells as easily, and the patient's not gonna feel as good get those proteolytic enzymes in there, start reversing that hypercoagulable issue, then suddenly you get better nutrient delivery, which is great, except that sometimes it's too much of a good thing. It's kind of like I'm really thirsty and you try to drink out of a fire hose. Yes, you're gonna get water in your mouth, but you're gonna you know, blast half your face off as well. It's kind of too much of a good thing too quickly. And so that can sometimes lead to detoxification reactions and things to that effect. So um, if it wasn't a biofilm related thing, my thought would be maybe we're, it's a too much of a good thing um, issue. So. Uh, thank you for the question. It was a very good, interesting, unique question. So thank you for that. Um, if anybody has any questions on this topic or anything else, whether they're unique or otherwise, um, please post in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer as soon as I can.